Hey everybody, Justin here from Bear Zapper Barbecue. Today we made some, or are making some pretzel buns. Um, I used King Arthur all-purpose flour. You can use bread flour as well. Um, but I used a, um, uh, one and three quarters cups of warm water. Um, I mixed that with two teaspoons of instant yeast, a uh, quarter cup of uh, non-fat uh, dry milk. Again, um, four and a half cups of the King Arthur uh, all-purpose flour, unbleached all-purpose flour, three quarters of a tablespoon of salt, and some um, uh, two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Mix that all together. Uh, I kneaded it on my uh, on my countertop, and I've been letting it rise for um, it's been about an hour. The recipe calls for about an hour. It's a King Arthur's recipe, uh, so we we let it rise. Now we're gonna poke it, and we're gonna let it go back down, and we're gonna start shaping our buns. I'm going to do some buns. I'm going to do some regular pretzels. Um, and then we're going to actually bake them on the big green egg. So uh, I'm really pumped to see how this comes out. Never made pretzels before. So I'm uh, pretty pumped for it. All right. So dough is uh, has risen. I've cut it into some different pieces. Uh, I'm going to make some, like I said, some, uh, some buns. We're going to make some regular pretzels. Um, I do have the big green egg heating up. We need to get that up to about 400. Um, so that should be soon. And, and now I have some water that is mixed with, I have two quarts of water mixed with a quarter of a cup of baking soda and about a tablespoon of salt. We're gonna let that come to a boil. We're gonna to toss some of these uh, some of these dough balls uh, in. We're going to give them a bath and then we're going to put them on the uh, on the egg. All right, so I've shaped the uh, the dough into four normal pretzels and then five buns. And what I'm going to do is now drop, uh, as soon as this starts boiling, I'm going to drop in, you know, three or four at a time. Let them boil for about 30 seconds, flip them over, let them boil for another 30 seconds, then put them on some parchment paper and sprinkle some kosher salt on top, or uh, some coarse salt on top. All right, so far I have put two in, took them out, put some coarse salt on them. These two are coming out as well. Shake it off, move them over to this side, shake it off. Nice, move them over to this side. And we'll do some coarse salt. And some coarse salt. All right, so we have the five buns. I've put salt on all of them. I've scored them. And the four pretzel shapes. This is piping hot. So we are going to drop a pretzel on. Ooh, it's hot. We'll start there. Oh, these are looking awesome so far. We're right around 400 degrees, just slightly under. We're gonna let that cook a little bit longer. Today, we are also gonna be making some <clears throat> uh, McGriddles for dinner. So I am making the pancake mixture. So far, I have made, um, or so far, I have um, done one and a quarter cups of flour, added one and a quarter cups of flour. I've added one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. And for a wet mixture, I've added one egg, four tablespoons of um, butter, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. And I'm gonna add to that uh, two thirds cup of milk, and we're gonna mix everything together. All right, we've mixed the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients, and have ourselves a nice pancake mix. I'm gonna start the grill, we're gonna start doing some of the uh, folded eggs that they do, kind of like an omelet. Uh, I'm gonna have sausage, I'm gonna do some uh, bacon as well, and some, uh, some yellow cheese, American cheese. Pumped for this. All right, so far we've cooked the bacon. We've uh, taken one of the pretzel rolls that we made. We've added some bacon 
egg whites and cheese. I have my sausage patty right there, has a little egg white on it. And we have the McGriddle cakes right there. I'm gonna throw my um, eggs on now. And we are gonna be grooving. All right, so this sandwich is looking awesome. I'm going to put together the sausage and cheese one. I might throw a piece of bacon on there as well. Got my eggs cooking. Got one last uh, griddle cake on there. Wow, tastes really good. Awesome. So I am going to this a little bit beautiful <clears throat> we're gonna put that right on top we're gonna call it a day look at that sausage is hidden under there there's a piece of bacon on there as well on top of a griddle cake it has some maple syrup in it this is gonna be awesome thanks for watching all right everybody last minute thoughts on the McGriddles, uh, they were really, really good. I think I could have added a little bit more maple syrup uh, into the pancake. Didn't have quite as much of the maple flavor that uh, McDonald's has, but man, it was, it was really good, uh, really good. So I put too much egg on mine as well. Kind of half that egg fell off uh, as I was eating it, but well worth it, well worth it. Uh, highly recommend it, super easy recipe. Check out the recipe below and um, Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, in the comment section, I would love to know what uh, recipes you'd like me to do. And uh, definitely try them. Take care.